Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing very well, welcome back to the channel, in today's NRL preview, we will be doing the 2023 NRL preview of the South Sydney Rabbitohs, my team. For the first part of the video, I will be talking about what teams will the, what teams the Rabbitohs will play once and twice in 2023. The, t the teams that are playing the Rabbitohs once as following, the Warriors, Titans, Eagles, Cowboys, Sea Eagles, Dolphins, Knights, and Raiders. The teams playing the Rabbitohs twice in 2023 as following. The Broncos, Panthers, Sharks, Roosters, West Tigers, Bulldogs, Storm, and Dragons. Five-day turnarounds for the Rabbitohs. The Rabbitohs will have two five-day turnarounds in 2023. The Rabbitohs have three buys in 2023, and they will have their buys in rounds 16, 20, and 26. Now, I believe having our first buy in round 16 is completely ridiculous. I don't like how the way the draw system is for 2023, but it's how, it's how it works, considering this this is the first time ever that every team is having three buys. And then round 26 could be an advantage or a disadvantage for the Rabbitohs, as we'll wait and see where they will be on the ladder in round tw by round 26. The Rabbitohs will play all their games across Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday in 2023. They will have three Thursday night games, nine Friday games, ten Saturday games and two Sunday games. Three Thursday games. That is actually surprising. We had a lot. We, I think we had doubled the amount of Thursday night games in 2022 compared to this year. Damn. I could be here up to half an hour to let you guys know what games I'm looking very excited, very excited for the Rabbitohs this year. As I'll be going to plenty of games um, this year, but I'll make it short and sweet. The first game I'll get out of the way is obviously against our, against our arch nemesis, the Sydney Roosters, in round three and round 27. Now, I'm actually surprised we are actually playing Al at Allianz against the Roosters first, rather than, not, rather than not playing them at a core stadium as the home team, the Rabbitohs home team in round three. And Allianz should be last round, but uh, I guess it'll just be a yearly thing where We'll play the opposition's home ground first and then last the following year or whatever. But round three, after the last blood fuel encounter between the Roosters and the Rabbitohs in the elimination final on Sunday on that Sunday afternoon, seven sin bins, four from the Rabbitohs, three from the Roosters. It's gonna it's going to explode in round three. And round three game, this better be a damn sellout. The two games the two games um, in round 25 in the elimination final, I only went to round 25, not the elimination final. They were both sellouts. I hope, I hope round three, it will be a sellout. Because anything is possible between these two teams. And in round 27, we play each other at a core stadium in the Rabbitohs final home game. And the first time back at a core stadium um, since the Women FIFA World Cup would start. Which I'll get into that very shortly. Another game I'm looking really forward to is the annual Good Friday Clash between the Rabbitohs and the Bulldogs. Now, the reason why I bring up this game in particular, I since since the since the concept of the Good Friday encounter between the Rabbitohs and Bulldogs since 2012, I believe I've gone to every game every year between the two on Good Friday, with the exception of 2020 due to COVID. Um. This will be happening in round six of the Bulldogs home game. Uh, we now the Rabbitohs have got a seven and three record over the Bulldogs, as they've played. They have played ten counters um, between the two. Rabbitohs won seven and Bull, Bulldogs won three. But I'm looking to see how the Bulldogs will go in 2023. We'll just have to wait and see how they will do when round one kicks off. These two will also clash against each other in round 19. Um, on a Saturday night, which that's much better than the fucking Sunday night game from last year um, that these two played on. I think Saturday night, it's not free to air, but regardless, this should be another great encounter between the two. G amazing rivalry, but mainly from Good Friday. But 
Regardless, this that will be also be the Rabbitohs' final game at a Cool Stadium, as well as the Bulldogs, for up to se um, six to seven weeks um, until the Women's FIFA World Cup is over. The Women's FIFA World Cup is over. And one more encounter I will talk about is the Cronulla Sharks. Now, the reason why I bring up the Cronulla Sharks because of two reasons. One, we have there. There is going to be some pay. There's going to be some um, drama between the two teams when these two clash in round one after the Sharks were heavily defeated by the Rabbitohs in the semi-final in 2022. Now, these two will be clashing twice in 2023, which, that's actually a surprise. I believe since 2013 or 2014, the Rabbitohs and Sharks have only met each other once in the regular season. I am not counting the finals, if you're going to bring that up. From 2015, they played in the elimination final, and then in the semi-final in last year's final series. Now, I'm not counting that, but since 2013 or 14, the Rabbitohs and Sharks have played each other only once. So it's been a long decade since these two have played each other twice in the regular season. So round one, Shark Park, Rabbitohs got a shit record at um, at Points Bet Stadium, but this is going. I think that could be the get one of the game of the rounds for round one, and then these two will also clash of all places in Perth at Optus Stadium in round twenty three. This is part of a double header, or, along with the not Dolphins versus the Knights. Now this. I will be likely going to Optus Stadium for this. I know it's on the other side of the, on, of the country, but I don't care. I love. I'll, I'm going to be do, been doing a bit of travelling in 2023, which I'll get into that in a future video. But they're the teams I'm looking forward to the watch and go watch live in 2023. Now I'm going to talk about where do where do I think we will struggle the most? Now, as in terms. Now, we got one of the more harder draws, as usual, for 2023. Now, um, I, I really love... I, I don't really like the teams that we're playing twice. I would have rather, rather play a couple of certain teams twice rather, rather than once. But that's how the draw works. But, it's whatever. So, I believe the Rabbitohs may struggle in Origin period, as we'll have the likes of... Probably Latrell Mitchell, Cody Walker, Damian Cook, and Cameron Murray, and Jai Arrow playing for New South Wales and Queensland, respectively. So we could struggle during the origin period, but looking at the opposition, the only big team we have is the Cowboys during that period. Which origin would start around round 13, where the players will be selected for origin. But if I'm if I have to pick when we're gonna struggle a bit, it's definitely the first five games of 2023. In the first five rounds, we have three away. We start off with three away games against the Sharks at points bet. Round two against Penrith at blue bet, and then round three at Alliance against the Roosters before we have two home games in a row at a course day. In round four we're playing Manly, and round five we're playing Melbourne. Now. That's a very tough start for the Bunnies. Yes, I know, we can definitely beat the Sharks. We can beat the Roosters. Uh, I could say more or less we can beat Manly. And Mel we could even beat Melbourne, as we did beat Melbourne round twenty, sorry, round 19 at a course day, in which I was at that game as well. So I reckon that's going to be a very tough start for the boys. And then after that, pretty much, we got the Storm and the Panthers again. Within the first 10 rounds. In round 8 against Penrith out of core. And then Magic Round against Melbourne. Now. It's going to be interesting to see how the boys will do. I'm hoping we can go at least for 4-1. Or 3-2. and two, Or even 5-0. and oh. I doubt 5-0. and oh, But. You never know how the boys will be this year. But I believe that's where the Rabbitohs will struggle. The most in 2023. Along with Origin. Now to the very last part of the video. Where do I think the Bunnies, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, my team, will finish in 2023? So, now, this is my, this is just a prediction. I will have my official prediction, ladder prediction in, out pro, at the weekend or on Monday. Now, I believe the boys will finish in the top eight. That's a guarantee. 
with the squad we've got, with the re-signing of, of Cody Walker, Damian Cook, and Latrell Mitchell till 2025 and 27 respectively, and a couple lot and a lot and Cameron Witten with Cameron Murray, Alex Johnson, and even Campbell Graham. I reckon we're going to be a dominant side in 2023. I believe this is going to be a shocking one. I believe we will finish in the top four. Where do I think in the top four? I'll probably say third or fourth place. Sure, we finished in seventh. We, we mellowed out a bit in 2022 um, because we struggled a bit because we've lost Reynolds and Wayne Bennett in 2021. But that doesn't matter. People wrote us off in 2022. Some believe we weren't going to make the top eight. But hey, we did. We even made the preliminary final for, for the fifth bloody time in a row. Now, I'm hoping we can at least make another preliminary final, make the grand final. I don't know at this stage. I would love the boys to make it. I could see it happening, but I don't think so. So I reckon the Rabbitohs will finish some, somewhere between third and six. If they don't make the four, I won't, won't be surprised. As long as the top six, I'm happy with that. Now, with the rest of... Now, for the for a little bit more of the video, I'm going to be talking about how the Rabbitohs draw is structured. So, Rabbitohs, I believe the Rabbitohs will be travelling the most, the most of any of the Sydney teams in 2023. Now, our first six games will be in New South Wales in Sydney, before we'll be going up to Sumcourt Stadium between round 7 and 10, with the exception of round 8, as the Rabbitohs will be heading back to Sydney to take on the Penrith Panthers. But we are one of the more affected teams by the world by the women by the women's FIFA World Cup, which kicks off in July and finishes in late August. Now Rabbitohs will not Rabbitohs will not be able to use a call stadium as women as the women's women's FIFA World Cup will be used during that period. So round nineteen is our final um, game at a call stadium till um, until round twenty seven. As we'll be back for the final game. We've got two buys between rounds 20 and 26. And then the and the boys will not be in Sydney until round 27, which is ridiculous. So Rabos have eight home games at a course stadium in 2023, along with an extra one with the Bulldogs as a home team, and vice versa. The boys will be taking a home game to the usual opt sorry, taking a game to the usual Sunshine Coast Stadium. Now, we're, thankfully, we're playing the different team because I think we're getting a bit bored of playing the Warriors. That they they lost every encounter we played the Warriors at Sunshine Coast Stadium. We'll be taking the taking on the Broncos in round 21. Now, I'm glad they're going back to Perth for the first time since 2018. There hasn't been a game in Perth, I believe, since 2018 either. So I'm glad the um, Rabbitohs were taking the game to Perth and Sharks of all teams. That's a great. That's a great selection. And to my shock, we're taking a home game to Bower Park in Cairns. We haven't been there since 2018 either. Now I believe our record at Bower Park in Cairns is three and six, three and three. So we have three wins, three losses. Because the last time we played there was the Cowboys, and we actually finally beat them in Cairns. As um, we played the Cowboys there three times today, and they won the first two encounters. And there's one more game that has not been announced for the Rabbitohs. The Rabbitohs in round 12 against the Parramatta Eels. There is no venue name. I don't know why the Rabbitohs and Eels game in round 12 does not have a venue announced yet. Now, this is likely not going to be out of course same as... The CEO of Rabbitohs said we'll be taking at least eight home games at a core stadium. And that's when we've already got all eight games at a core covered. So I believe this could be going to a couple of grounds. Now, I'm hoping the Rabbitohs do not go to Dubbo. We've, we've been heavily defeated twice in Dubbo. Nothing, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the people in Dubbo. I'm just saying the ground is not a good place to get, play footy. That's all I'm saying. So I believe the Rabbitohs will be in Sydney to take on the Eels for this game, and I, this, it could be at Combank, it could be at Allianz, heck, it could even be up here on the Central Coast, as we've always taken a home game on the Central Coast since 2018, with the exception of COVID years, but um, I believe it's going to be at Allianz or Combank Stadium, Combank or Allianz Stadium, most likely. 
I don't know when it'll be announced. I just hope it just gets announced before the fucking season starts. But anyways, everyone, this will come towards the end of the video. I'm sorry for that little rant with the how the Rabbitohs draw or travel schedule is. Rabbitohs will be travelling a lot in 2023. Not 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 one Sydney game from round from between rounds 20 and 26. That's ridiculous. We'll be going up to Queensland, go to WA, going to Northern New South Wales to Tamworth. And it will be in the Hunter region. I, I love going to McDonald's Jones Day. But anyways, everyone, this will come towards the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I've only got three more teams to go. I've got the Dolphins, I've got the Knights, and I've got the Dragons to do. I will be releasing those videos in, in the next two days. So I expect to have two videos in one day. But anyways, everyone, I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Take care.